hello. So I was thinking about but what do you really to have to lose? To <laughs> what do you even have to lose at trying something different in every aspect of the way? Like from the way you move, the way you show up, the way you think, the way you interact with people, the places you go, the things that you like, your everything, everything. The you you break down and start from scratch. Who are you? What do you like? What what I ha what haven't I tried? What haven't I explored? What what do you have to lose? And I remember when I was becoming a CNA and I was in my class and the girl, there was a classmate of ours and we would all, you know, read aloud, read along together, study the material, you know, group session style, literally for almost like eight hours a day or whatever. And, you know, and then I, if I'm not mistaken, it was every Saturday and Sunday for several weeks. And then when it would come time for her to answer a question that was like one-on-one, -on -one, like, you know, the teacher would pick on you know, each of us to answer a question or, you know, whatever, reiterate what we just reviewed or whatever. She would just, you know, the sky is green. Um, the patient has pneumonia or like, um, I think in this instance, you know, if they're running a temperature, we would check their blood pressure. Just craziness. And it got to the point where it was like, what, what, you know, why does she self-sabotage herself like this? And what was even sadder is that, you know, this we saw this school because they took her money, her tuition. They pushed her through and no one had the, not my responsibility, but as instructors, not that maybe they did and that was a private conversation, but at no point did anyone, I don't think because she continued on with the class, even up until where we took this test, the final state, you know, the state test, um, to pass, which involved a written test and like demonstrating our skills, our learned knowledge. At no point did she, you know, back down. She just kept showing up. And I hope, but I don't think, my hope is that, you know, maybe she really was delusional. that, uh, you know, someone, they said, you know, you have to stop being so blind to um, what you're doing that is hurting you which is not thinking you have to stop being so um you know you this is this is not this is not normal you know and now one time our main instructor did just have a moment where she was just so fed up by like her purposely seeming to act dumb it was very very strange because she put the blood pressure cuff on the arm and then she didn't put the stethoscope underneath on the vein or the you know what I mean, to listen to the heart rate and she was pumping 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 and listening to nothing it was and so the teacher said stop do you know the definition of insanity but she said to continue to do the same thing over and over again and expect different results. And that conversation, because I was so embarrassed for her, always stuck, stuck with me, stuck with me, stuck with me. Because, you know, where do we do that to, to ourselves in our own lives? Where do we mimic and do things out of habit, do things out of just sheer comfort, laziness, this is always. This is the way it's always been done. This is all I know. This is my mother did it this way. My aunt did it this way. My sister. You know what I mean? To the point where it's like, but this is not the answer. And it takes a lot of self-reflection and bravery, boldness, asserting yourself, saying, "I am going to have to go into the darkness." And I mean, the darkness being the unknown, uncharted territory. Pack my and embark on something new or a new way of thinking or new everything to see if I can at least get a different result because I don't like the result I'm getting. Now, let me bring this, all this, you know, whoopla into practical examples. And this can come from diet and the results of, you know, your body shape or your energy level or 
your current status of your health in general, your immune system, you know, um, all these things, how how uh, serious your um, time of the month is, all these things reflect, can reflect. Maybe your diet needs some, some, some reconsideration. Maybe you need to implement some type of physical movement. What does that look like for you? Again, not just copying someone because they said, yeah, jump in the gym. It may not be the gym for you, honestly. It may be jogging on the beach. It may be doing gentle yoga. It may be a form of dance. It may be getting a Peloton that works for you or whatever. But are you willing to not just take someone's word for it or just like, huh, I don't know, it could be anything until they're fine you do nothing at all. So that's the physical side of it. For me, it was looking at my skin, looking at, you know, like, why is my skin be doing this? What, what does that mean? What am, I, um, what am I doing or not doing that is maybe uh, causing my skin to react this way? Um, uh, maybe your hair isn't growing. Maybe your nails aren't growing. Maybe your eyes aren't bright. Maybe your teeth, you know, you have some things going on with your mouth and your your you know your gum health that can be an indication of other issues okay so that's like i said that's the physical mentally you know how you think what you think about what do you get your information and your inspiration Why from do you watch the news do you scroll on tiktok do you listen to people that you don't even know if they're what? Oh, I'm not coming for you with the TikTok. You know, but do are you consuming people that are credible? And if, even if you are just, you know, touching around and feeling around with all different information, do you go back and do your research? Do you look into, you know, the history behind things, the, the motive yeah, behind yeah. information, or do you just take someone's word look for it and regurgitate is, things as fact? You know? Um, that is the mental side of things. Um... How you choose to see your world how are you know do you take responsibility for the world that you are in and what you have created um by choosing what you allow the people the circumstances the and let me use circumstances for example you get invited to a party you really don't want to go and you go anyway and you're miserable who do you, who do you have to blame the person that invited you you know someone enters the room you don't like them they always attack you they always have you know snide comments and you know uh make a whatever 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 and you continue to stay in their vicinity to allow them to talk to you like that or if you are bold enough you just shut it down point blank period you can stay in any room you want to but where are you not taking responsibility to set yourself free from that the people you date the people you interact with the people that you allow to come to your home into your body um procreate with um share your money share a meal with sharing a meal is something that i don't i no longer take lightly i no longer feel the obligation to just like oh you know if someone invites me to break bread with them i have to accept not family not extended family not my fiance's family if i don't feel comfortable with of what I know their talking points are, what their beliefs are. If they're the type of people that just like to shovel their beliefs onto you or they can only talk about politics or they can only talk about the news or they can only talk about, um, you know, the current state of the world and the war and all these heavy things that I have no interest in, I can protect myself and my energy by saying, you know, thank you. But again, being in fear of, oh, that would be rude, what would people think, blah, 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 is me not changing how it's always been done which is be polite and accept an invitation and you know just just you know try to uh, offer the olive branch of humility or whatever I don't know I think I just made that up but um, those are some examples of changing stretching out of your comfort zone to be better if you've always looked um, or dress a certain way, what does that say about you? What does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? Is it just because it's just what you what you have in your closet? Or because what was on sale? Or because, you know, you've always had these clothes or you've just always seemed to get hand-me-downs or whatever? Or is it because you chose that style, that color, that texture, that fabric, that, that, that wardrobe to encompass who you are, how you feel, and what you want to portray. You are like, you know, and not you, but all of us, we are like the flowers of the earth. 
So it is okay for us to be beautiful and to show up and to smell like we smell and be, be, be the beauty. Not just for ourselves, but for everyone that comes around us. Let's like, stop and smell the roses. You know, in every aspect of the way, in every aspect of the same. You know, but are we going to give ourselves the permission to explore these things? I have touched on spirituality. That is a big one. Your beliefs, how you empower yourself, what you believe about your creator, what you believe about your, you know, who you are and how you show up and why you're 